Welcome back to Bathologic 2. Last episode, we turned our paper guaranteeing that our home is in our possession into the Prefect, which is in the Infected Zone. The first Infected Zone to exist. The, these zones over here might be infected as well, I'm not sure. This is before people are totally sure that it's an infection. They've been told it's just black soot coming from the termitary. Anyway, um, I'm here at Notkin's place, the Soul and a Half's place, and I have to deal with that kid who is sick with the infection. And I think I'm going to give them the schmouter if I can. I really hope I can, because otherwise they will die. It's just kind of written into the story. Off camera, someone just ends up telling you, yeah, they died. Half men, half boys, no more knives, no more toys. That big city doctor was just here too, told me to pass a message on. Don't waste your time on patches, it's over for him. Instead, pull yourself together and come see me. I've got something important for you. That's it. That's what he said? He can get bent. We scrounged up all these pills from all over the town, but the big city doctor said Patches will die if we give him any. His body can't take the strain. But you, you're going to try anyway, aren't you? Yes. Antibiotics? Let's have a look at Patches. Can you do it? I can do many things. Light feet and heavy heart, huh? It should be the other way around. You've got a schmouter on you. So what? You're not planning on giving it to Patches, right? It might kill him, you know. I remember when I first played through this, I thought, yeah, a bunch of random pills ground up? That would be ridiculous and incredibly irresponsible to give to the child. But now? It's the only thing that's going to save them. Can it help? It's not a toy, it's poison. Hmm. Hmm. This is, this is the changeling, not Clara. I think this changeling is the one that is kind of like death. They seem like they're death or at least in support of the plague. Now I see this for the lies that it is. That's why they're so adamant that it's poison. It is poison. Poison to them. Poison to the plague. Mm-hmm. I see. Not to mention they're terrible for your health. Mm-hmm. You little fucker. I got you, buddy. You're gonna be fine. And there you go. I came into my legacy. Sort of. I traced father's path. I will take care of his patience. I've proven by deeds that I know the lines. I still can't believe the Schmouter helped. I don't think I'll be this lucky in the future. But everyone considers me a Menhu now. Is he going to make it? I guess it is possible that they'll still die. Just not because of the infection, but just because their body's too weak or something. I hope not, though. I hope I didn't use that schmouter in vain. Hear his steady breathing? He'll live. And that bachelor said it was no use. I knew he was lying, the big city grifter. Impossible this, gone or that. Nonsense. I want you to abandon us and go see him about some urgent business instead. So he wanted me to abandon a patient in favor of chatting with him. Charming. Although I'm pretty sure the bachelor wants to see me because of the plague. <laughs> so I don't think it's just a casual chat, to be fair. Well, he told us it was hopeless. We were worried you'd believe him and leave Patches to die. 
What'd you give him, by the way? One of your old man's tinctures? No, I used that schmouter of yours. I'm not sure it'll work. A schmouter? A schmouter? Well, it will work all right, but it only helps with a sand pest, not with any other diseases. And it's dangerous. It can even kill a weak organism. Ugh, you shouldn't have. Only helps with a sand pest, right, because the sand pest came here five years ago. And at, at this time right now, no one suspects that it's back. How could it be back? But, no, it was definitely the right thing to do. Um, what did that bachelor want with me? He, uh, he told us things looked grim and that you should drop everything to go talk to him. Because, he said, it's a desperate situation and our lot has to be quarantined. He said you shouldn't even come here so you don't catch it yourself. Hmm. Your gang should stay put for now. Keep off the streets, alright? <laughs> Any trading to do? Oh, I have a lot of things. Marbles? Ooh, yeah. Marbles and broken scissor. I can get canned food for that. And a super... Right, they sell super cheap fingernails. Can I get all of this? Yes, I can. I'm actually kind of hungry. I should... Probably eat that canned food. I don't think it'll be a waste. No, it wasn't. What about you, kid? You like scrap and broken scissors. Well, I'll trade your broken scissors for a needle. Actually, two needles. Throw in a spring. Yeah. He's sticky. Well knows the kitten whose meat it has eaten. So I cleaned our place up. I burned the trash. Took away the bones. Uh, I mean, the cracked ones. And I put that weird gray goo from the table in a bucket. Might be useful, right? No rest for the wicked, huh? And I could also whip up something for us to eat. Got any money? You whippersnapper. What am I supposed to do with you? Anyway, when are you coming back? Should I wait for you or what? Someone's gotta take care of your dad's stuff and... stuff. I think it'd be great if we did it together. Why do you care anyway? By the way, I, uh broke a pipe over there. I don't think it was important though, so don't hit me, alright? I'll fix it myself. Boar has a pipe like that. I bet he'll trade it for a bottle of alcohol. We have a couple of those, right? Just just stay here and don't go anywhere. Don't even move. Got it? Got it. Good, kiddo. Great. Keep it up. What just got marked on the map? Oh, time to pay a visit to the lair. Hmm, yeah, I don't think I ever spoke with Dankowski here. Or did I? Did I speak with Dankowski here? Or did the bell toll before I was able to do that? Hmm. I'm not sure. I don't know if I'll make it there in time, though, to be honest, because I have stuff to do here. I want to go to grief and then, I guess, to my place. And I don't remember when the bell tolls, but anyway, let's get moving. And would it really make a difference to talk with them before the bell tolls? I doubt it. What difference could it make? And Vlad stays quiet. Has his finger in the pie, I'm sure. A guest is best when you see them less. What's wrong with everyone today? Are you trying to drive me nuts? I've got enough on my plate. Will you tell me? No. Long tongues lead to short lives. If you have a point, get to it. If not, don't let the door hit you on the way out. We're getting together this night. The four of us. The old place. Huh? 
Why all of a sudden? Because it's time we stopped bickering. The old place is in by the gumstone at the railroad. Yes, next to the basket. Mm. Go ahead. The three of you will have more fun without me. Me and Stah are at each other's throats, too. He can barely stand me. Blames me for father's death. Wow, what tree did he fall from to hurt his head so? Must have been that new tower. Precisely. I don't know, cub. I've got a full plate here. Those men, the night hunters, they're too fond of playing with knives. Way too fond. Where'd they all even come from? It's not just your plate, it's everyone's now. Not my fault, but somehow it is. Never took blood, but I dressed for a red harvest. How it bloomed. Forget it. I'll deal with it myself. So, take this chance to explain it to Stah and Lara. And me. Alright, meeting has been set up. Ugh, the canes shouldn't mess around with my railroad's ties. Such labor is beneath them. And here comes Art to me, Art to me of the Academy. What do you need? Any insight on what's going on around town? Sure, I've got insight. Got everything in sight. Death has his hands full. Our grand leader Simon drew his last breath. What else do you want to know about? The bosses and their schemes, or the rumor mill? Mm, the rumor mill. Uh, let's see. Simon's dead, but you already knew that. The ground refused to accept your dad, you know that too. An awful bachelor arrived from the capital. Some odd girl arrived the same day as you, too. A curious one. Half sure she's some saint. Tore my soul out, hanged it out to dry. How did Simon die? No one knows. Felt feverish, I guess. You notice he'd been joined at the hip with your dad? Glove in hand, always together, conspiring. Probably engineering a future for us stupid creatures. The kinds are still in charge, then? Still the same. Sabra of the Hawk is in charge, and he's all squawk. The kinds, as usual, rack their brains on how to move the town downriver. Quacks all. The tower already floats. Mark my words, they'll hang the next district in the clouds. As for the master, well, he's the master. You mean Fat Flat? Sure do. You sitting pretty, the ugly bastard. Put me at the heart of the warehouses. No complaints here. Quaint little abode, and under my feet a whole railroad. You don't bother Vlad, and he won't bother you, neither. He's a scumbag. He's a moneybag first and foremost, friend. He runs this whole machine, feeds the town, allows us to earn our keep. Not just me, but everyone here. How many folks work at the cannery? At the station? The warehouses alone house 400. And everyone gets paid solid coin. And that's how he justifies all this exploitation. You step people, all you know is herding cows and pushing plows. We have to look to tomorrow, cub. You think the kinds are interested in architecture for, what, its own sake? Even so, who will pay for it? Gotta think with your stomach some of the time. The master is a shrewd man. Although he did ban entrance to the termitary. Of that I wasn't a fan. What's going on with that? Folks there had problems with Fat Flad and almost turned violent. Makes sense, too. 5,000 animals are bound to turn into beasts. Your kind is like a pack of dogs. One howls and the rest follow. But still. If I find out more, I'll be sure to tell you. Two thousand coin for a knife. I can sell mine for eight hundred. Knives are worth more than I thought. Of course, I'm not buying any of those. Oh, there's a group of people at my place. Now everyone acknowledges you. Everyone says you've embarked upon the path of your father. Make it so they unlock the termitary. Bite Haran, something's off about it. Trouble must be brewing. What trouble? 
We don't know. Make them tell us. Make them open the termitary. Make who, Fat Vlad? He won't listen. Everyone says you're now a menhu. Once you're allowed to cut bodies, cut my brother, please. Release him of evil meat so he may speak. When will I be allowed to do that? The elders will say when. Can we bring my brother to you? Will you cut away his pain? Sure. I don't think they ever do. You were unjustly suspected yesterday, but now everyone believes you. My sister is about to give birth. The older women say the child is big. She is small, and so she will die if not helped. Will you help her? I will. Was that the reason? Well, not the only reason. There's something inside. Roots and blood. That is what fills our veins. Roots and blood. Teneg. Foolish boy. I know the meaning of the word. Why the harsh words? Obgay? Or Obgai? Is that how you were taught to heal people? Behara, you just got lucky. Ever anyone can administer a remedy someone else made. A child might pick medicine by pretty colors. Bay Bay Oil Gano Ugib. This is not your father's way. No, that was absolutely the right thing to do. I mean, you know, for this character right now, no, but with my hindsight from the last playthrough, yes. This will not happen again, I will learn? Uh, sure. Any new thoughts on the contents of the Udhar? The murderer still breathes. That's what's bothering me. Okay, that was it. Well, the bell hasn't tolled. It's 1.20. I'm sure it's not long till it tolls, though. Alright, let me see if I can get to the bachelor in time. Before the bell tolls. I'm going to take a boat over here. That'll probably take long enough that it's going to be 2pm. I hope it doesn't start at 2pm. Please. If it doesn't, then I'm good. The bells were extremely loud, so I think I'm good. In fact, maybe the bell doesn't toll until after I speak with Dankovsky. Get the vague feeling that I have spoken with Dankovsky here before. That's not a thing that I missed. Oh yeah, the bad omen. And the three parts of the body. One is nerve and blood and bone and whatnot. The crows perching directly on the cathedral are a bad omen. Don't worry, pal. Crows have the right to be devout, too. The crows not being noticed by anyone is a bad omen. What kind of omen is that? A real one. Crows are harbingers of death. Whoever doesn't notice crows will die soon. We've been standing here for a while. Many, many, many people passed us by. The three of us were the only ones who stopped to look. That's ominous. Bad omen. How fares your kind? Hmm. How fares your kind? Hi, Allah. Let Mother Bodo caress your step. Alright, they're all waiting for the bachelor out here, and then I think I go inside only to find out that the bachelor isn't in there. Dr. Vinkovsky ordered us to meet him here by the house he's staying at. We've been waiting for half an hour. But he still isn't coming out, meaning he's busy. So we wait. You will, too. Mm, nope. I won't, actually. I wonder if you're early enough here, if you'll manage to find Dankovsky still here. Is that a new pose? I don't think I've seen her in that pose before. I think she was sitting on it last I saw. 
I can feel the cracks in my lacquer. See? Who are you? Artemi Bura, surgeon. What do you want? You look like you can hardly read, and I doubt you're into stargazing. Such a dick. Yeah, this place was an observatory, by the way. Where's Daniel? He's staying here, right? He... he isn't here. And he isn't coming. He's gone to the town hall. For a meeting. An important meeting. With doctors. Yeah, I remember they look like they're... I mean, this seems like a blatant lie, but they're not lying. He's actually not up there. Why would he set up our meeting here, then? He couldn't. He didn't. And you know what? You're not welcome in this house. What the fuck? Why do they hate me so much? Do they just hate the kin? Right? I mean, they said you look like you can't even read. Like, fuck you, piece of shit. I'm gonna go upstairs anyway. So I can save my game. So when I play The Bachelor, when The Bachelor is released, I believe this is where I'm going to be staying. Where would the changelings stay in their playthrough? I know they get adopted by the kinds. I guess that's probably where they would stay, huh? Wait, kinds. No, not the kinds. The Sabarovs. Here we go. So many Jerboas. It's so damn menacing. My treatment helped patches. Mm -hmm. Let's take the boat. I'm not gonna cut this out of the episode, this walking, because the bell tolling is incredibly creepy. And that droning, loud sound as you make your way to where they're all pointing is a hell of a moment. is closer. I don't know, they're about the same.
under these circumstances, uh, any inheritance would be uh, opportune. An epidemic, Bura. Plague. And if it's the sand plague that smothered 300 of my workers five years ago, then it's serious, very serious, my boy. Your father saved us back then. But now, now I need you. At hand. Do I make myself clear? Clear as day. A family doctor. A tame doctor, right? You know, Bura, in olden days, pirates used to hunt ships that carried doctors because they were worth more than gold. Imagine that. And I'm a bit of an old pirate myself. <laughs> Be prudent, my boy. Surely you appreciate your value now. I will help your family, Boos, if you can help mine. You don't understand yet. You are a bullheaded, stubborn young man, but you will. When the three-body thick pile of corpses lies atop Isidore's... Maybe we will talk again. Isidore's what? Is this a medical meeting? Why wasn't I invited? That's of no concern to you, Bura. Everything important that could be done, I've done already. There will be a fund. There will be a headquarters. Intrigues. Sleepless nights. Everyone here thinks they're crucial to defeating the outbreak. But they're scared. Mistaken. What can they tell you? I'm a doctor. I need the full picture. So you have some time on your hands? Then go to each of them. Talk to one, two, three people. Fill your head with minutia. Well, time. Time is running out. Your time. Seven empty conversations. You don't need them. I can tell you all you need to know. Yeah, it's your fault. You should have invited me from the start. There's a buzzing in my ears. The hospital will be set up in the theater. Possible infected will be examined there every day. The disease will be studied, and we'll even try curing it. They say there's no cure for the sand pest, but Dr. Denkovsky still has hope. What does that mean for me? It means that the theater is your place now, your real home. Tend to the sick and dissect the dead. Work night and day to find a cure for this accursed plague. I was planning to. But you're Ogimsky's private doctor now, aren't you? I guess he'll object then, or even forbid you to risk your life. Did he tell you that? Bullshit. Barley the Barber's leading the gang. <laughs> Some barber. The three ruling families will recruit volunteers to observe order. The dangerous districts will be cordoned off, and your exit will not be possible. Any crime against health or property will be punished immediately. What does that mean for me? I guess, since I've already been through this, there really is no point in going through these conversations. Kind of just explaining how everything works. Cold. That's growing old. <laughs> I am interested to speak with Katarina, though. If it's the same sickness, all measures are pointless. Wishful thinking. Delusional actions, for it's clear what we're dealing with. Fire from heaven, the great flood. No one shall be spared, save for the ten righteous men. You have a fever, you're delirious. Forget the plague, you can't affect it. Think of yourself, not of the disease. Search your soul. Are you a righteous man, or are you one of the cattle for the slaughter? Whom will it kill and whom will it spare, and why? This is the curious question which must be answered by me, Doctor, not you. It is a curious thought, true. I'll consider it. Our big city guest is a little too fast on the draw, isn't he? This is humiliating. Father purposely charges me with tasks that present our family in the ugliest possible light. Supplying the fund with adequate food and medicine is clearly impossible. My efforts here are futile. 
Why? Going door to door and seizing people's stockpiles of medicine and food? Insanity. They won't hand it over, of course. They barely have anything left. They will if you ask, right? No one knows why the train is almost a month late. We've maintained regular shipments of meat and skins. So where's our pay? Where's the regular supply train? We're on the brink of starvation. There are no stocks left. Which means everyone's on their own now. And I'll have to kneel in front of my father and take responsibility for this fiasco. You're a smart man. You'll find a way. You aren't cub anymore, Burach. Time to grow up. Well, I guess the sentimental bout with old friends is cancelled. Time to work. Is it an either-or thing for you? Work doesn't have to interfere with friendship. I know what you're thinking. You want to look for the murderer, avenge your father. Forget it. Let me handle it. I'll do it better than you. Father would want you to work, not seek vengeance. Work in his stead. What matters is what I want. Leave father alone, Stah. You're no longer a surgeon. You're a pharmacist. I'm better at dissecting people, in all senses, Burrah. But to create an infusion like Isidore did, that requires your intuition, your hands. It gives me no pleasure to admit all this, but it's true. I'll do whatever duty requires of me, got it? This damn rain. Will it ever end? The climate here is in chaos. Burrah, this situation is regretful. I just didn't have time to warn you. I understand. Forget it. Well, let's get down to business. We have three doctors in town. Four if we count the deranged girl who claims to have a healing touch. Rubbish, of course. But she has a lot of energy and she knows a thing or two. So it won't hurt to let her work. And hurrah. Allow me to be frank. Where did you graduate? What are your qualifications? Do you have a degree? Medical school? Hurrah. I want you to become my aide. Our primary goal is developing a vaccine. You're a local and enterprising. I need your help. Vaccines aren't my area of expertise. They are mine. Our goal is to stall the epidemic and prevent a worldwide pandemic. That's your goal. Mine is to protect my hometown. Other towns like this one exist, you know. If this disease is half as lethal as the outbreak five years ago, this place is doomed. Other people can still be saved. Or perhaps you have better suggestions? Just say it. What do you want from me? I will make the vaccine, but I can't do it without you. All you need to do is be at hand and do as I say. I will take full responsibility for the situation. Okay, perhaps I'll drop by if I have the time. Whoa, why did my knife come out? Everything is connected. Woven together, it forms a pattern in the great design. A human weaver who makes new connections cannot be ended by death. It's spreading across Earth, the lower town, between the gullet and the abattoir. Thanks, Judge. I know a part of town is called Earth. Two architects live in Earth, Andre and Peter Stamaton. Both geniuses, each in his own way. Please, take them into your care. You could let the whole town die, but these two must survive. Why? Because you won't find mines like theirs anywhere else on the whole continent. We hunted them for much too long. My brother Simon collected many brilliant specimens in this town, you know. It is an ark. Where do they live? Peter lives in a loft in the Tanners. Andre, though, rarely leaves the Broken Heart, his pub below the factory. I put my hopes on you, Doctor. Pay them a visit as soon as you can. I'll take a look. So I think they already need... 
immunity boosters, don't they? Pretty sure. Okay, well, we still have plenty of time left in the day. Wanted to hit up another cache on my way to Peter Stamaton's place. There's one right here. Let me mark it on this map. There we go. Let's give them a beetle. 